So some of you might recognize this piece of wood. I've painted over it a couple of times now, and I still didn't, well, I, I actually really liked it the last time when it was wet. Um, but I did not like it once it had dried because I had a lot of little white specks pop up. And so after doing some research and asking some questions, I had a couple of things that people said. One of them was that when I'm working on wood or I'm repainting something, I should cover it in a layer of, well, they called it gesso, which I didn't have. So when I looked that up, it said you could also just paint it with an acrylic paint. So I just painted it with my with my white house paint. Just I didn't dilute it with any Floetrol or anything. I just straight out of the can and, and painted it. And so that's supposed to help. And then the other thing they said was that I wasn't popping enough bubbles. So I'm going to be um, careful about making sure that I get all of the bubbles popped so that I'm not having any come up at the last minute. So what I'm going to do today, do you remember in, um, it was a video, I think it was the last video I did, um, but I had two puddles and then I covered them with one piece of plastic and I lifted it up and I, I it ended up turning out okay, but I, I kind of didn't like the way it turned out. I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I'm going to try mirror images on either side and then I'm going to put two pieces of plastic down and, and then lift them up separately so that I have two designs and then I'll do something with, I don't know, getting them to weave together in the middle. But the colors I'm using today are going to be Hunter Green. Make sure I'm getting that in camera. Hunter Green, Peacock Blue. Um, this tropical blue. This African violet. And then I have two custom colors of my own. I have a teal that I mixed up using turquoise and adding some black to it. And I have kind of a dark purple mixed up as well that is um, Copenhagen blue and Christmas red. So I really need to get some squeeze bottles for doing this because it takes forever doing it with a a pick and, and paint, especially when the paint is thick like mine is right now. So I'm actually going to turn the camera off and I'm going to get my white paint down on here and and then I'll get you back in and I'll actually speed it up and, and we'll, um, we'll go through speed it up as I put the paint down because otherwise you'll be bored to tears, I'm sure. So we don't want that. And then I'll come back and uh, kind of explain what I'm doing at the end there. So thanks again for watching.
So we've got our patterns laid out, and I know they're not exactly a mirror, but, you know, <laughs> not that talented. <laughs> Oops, I got paint on my plastic. So now I have my two pieces of plastic, and I'm going to set them down on either side. Like that, and where'd the other one go? And like that and I'm just going to lightly pat them down I want to make sure that you know when you're doing this you can see down here and you can see where all the air bubbles are where your paint has not touched your plastic and so all you want to do is make sure that all of your plastic has touched down on your paint is any kind of air bubbles that are left um, and your pattern won't come out right. I'm going to try to say, I'm not sure what I can do with skins on plastic yet. Um, I've made some beautiful necklaces out of some of the other skins that I've used or that I've made. Uh, sometimes, sometimes scraping a painting is a great way to make skins. <laughs> I've gotten some beautiful patterns out of, out of some mist pores that, uh, the colors worked beautifully together. I just, you know how I am with my white space, right? I like lots of white space. I like a lot of, they call it negative space in design. Um, I mean, not too much. Too much is too much, right? You don't want it to be all all just background color, but I do like a fair bit of negative space in my... Apparently, I mean, who knew, right? I, <laughs> I may have mentioned that I do have um, a background in graphic design, and that's actually what I do for a living, is um, social media and website design and stuff like that. Um, so it's not like I don't have a background in uh, some kind of creative endeavor, but this is all new to me. This whole art thing is completely new to me. Ah, this has a hole in the middle. Oh no. <laughs> ah. Uh, well, hopefully that doesn't matter, and I've definitely blurred it with my finger, right? <laughs> Crazy. A couple of more spots here and there. Oh, there's a big one right there. think, oh, getting a few others popping up here and there. Come and say hello, honey. Hello. <laughs> well, so much for that, eh? He thinks I'm crazy. But he loves me, so he indulges me. And he'd rather I talk to you about my crafts than talk to him about them. So <laughs> I've invited him to come in and hang out and paint with me and stuff. And he just has no interest in that at all. Anyway, which of these is on top? This guy. So we're going to start with him. And we're going to go corner to corner. Oh my gosh, you guys can't see this under here, but it's looking quite interesting. <laughs> oh, that needs to move that way a little bit right now before I even take this other one off. You can come and say hello, Mom. No, I don't want to say hello. <laughs> you could come and paint with me. I don't want to paint with you. Why? Look at the beautifulness I'm making. 
Yeah, come watch. Come watch. You're watching? Okay. Ooh. Yucky. What do you mean yucky? I might even try and save that. Ta-da! What was that? What do you mean, what was that? What was that stuff you took off of there? Uh, scrap plastic from packaging. You can use bags or, or whatever. That was just the packaging, the plastic packaging around something that I bought. And do you do that on all of them? No. I've just learned this technique. That's what I used for these ones. Okay. And that's what I used on that guy there, that round one. Okay. I'm liking it. This is becoming my favorite technique. Okay. Because it looks so cool. <laughs> I just have to move it. I'm going to turn my television on. Do you want me to shut your door? Yes, please. Are you, I'm, I'm recording. You know I'm recording, right? As long as you're not looking at me, I don't care. <laughs> Did you hear that? She said as long as we're not looking at her, she doesn't care. We can record her all we want. I don't have my makeup on. <laughs> you don't have your makeup on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Crazy lady. <laughs> Alrighty, let's pop some bubbles. Oh, we got to pop some bubbles. Got some big bubbles showing up here. I don't know if it's because I used the house paint or what. But um, I sure do get a lot of bubbles. And this has been, like, this paint has been sitting. I mean, it hasn't been just sitting. I've been using it, right, a little bit at a time here and there. And I have time to come out here and paint. Which will be a lot now because I'm on Christmas break and I'm forcing myself not to work. <laughs> I'm taking a vacation. Alright, I'm going to let this sit for a minute and then I'll come back and possibly... Uh, I don't know, a little bit of something right in here needs to happen. Don't you think? I don't want to move it too much. I got those little um, painter stands. Um, they're a little easier than my cardboard boxes that I was using that were that were sticking to everything. Come back a little bit the other way. Go a little bit that way. Ah! <laughs> Try not to throw things. You can see I've got little bits of cardboard under there. I'm pretty level now, but I'm still not 100% when I put something down. On these little guys, I can be a little bit off. Um, not enough that I worry about it, but I do sometimes have to stick some cardboard under there. I don't know it's better. Maybe if I can just see a little bit about what's under there. I have a feeling there's some some color hiding under there. Oh, maybe not. Make it seem like they're reaching for each other. Oh, that is starting to look just delightful, isn't it? I really am liking this technique now that I'm getting it figured out a little bit. I do need some around the edges. So, but I'll bring you in for a close up after a bit here. Um, I'll be back. 
So, I might finally be happy with this. It is looking much better than either of the other pores I did on here. Some of the colors are spectacular. Look at that right in there. The copper is showing up a little bit, so that makes me happy. I remembered to put my green in. They don't look much like flowers, but but they're pretty cool designs anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. If you haven't, subscribe. See you later.